But it's interesting that an American missile has got through. Have any Chinese missiles got through to the Americans? Missed. Edwin, excellent that oversaturation is. work. We're getting through again! Hello valued viewers, I hope you're all doing wonderfully well. Today's request comes from Steve F. Steve asks, could the Philippines survive a full naval attack from China? And that's a very easy one. No, I'm sure we would all agree the Philippines Navy and Air Force is very limited in scale and capability. But of course, the Philippines is under the protection of America. So that means we can make a war game out of this. So today, viewers, why don't we first look at the map? We don't have this part of the South China Sea, so we're operating around the area of Marianas, and I've made the South China Sea out of it. If you look at the green squiggly lines, they are showing the boundaries of countries. Here we have the north of the Philippines. Everything is to scale within about 15 miles. 245 miles north is the southern area of Taiwan. I've set bullseye here just north of Manila at Clark Air Force Base, 200 miles west of that is today's flashpoint Scarborough Shoal. And the correct 540 miles north is this area of China, Shenzhen and Hong Kong. Today's role play, the flashpoint is Scarborough Shoal. It's a small atoll 200 miles west of Clark Air Force Base in the South China Sea. It's problematic. It lays within the Philippines economic zone, but at the same time, it lays within the catchment of the Chinese Nine Dash Line area. So both countries claim it as theirs. China have decided they want this atoll as a symbolic show of power. They want to put their flag here. So they're sending a large mixed strike group. They are currently 70 miles away from the atoll. It consists of one Liaoning CV, two Type 055 DDGs, three Type 052 DDGs, and three Type 071 Orcs slash LHDs. Aboard the CV are a full complement of 24 J15s in the air superiority role. Let's go and have a little look. Our Type 055s today fielding anti ship missiles of the YJ21 and YJ18 variant and their very other self-defense weapons. The Type 052s with their YJ-18 supersonic anti-ship missiles and their various self-defense weapons. Liaoning up here, played by Kuznetsov, a similar class of CV. Fielding her max complement of 24 J-15s in the air superiority role. AI set to veteran skill level, each equipped with six PL-15 long-range air-to-air missiles and two PL-10 close range missiles as well as that there will be humans the humans you will not start on the ship you will start a few miles west of the ship armed to the same and you get two lives each in fact all humans today get two lives so that's one respawn so we don't drag it out too long as well as that we have orc slash lhd amphibious Next, the Philippines' response. As I said, their Navy and their Air Force is extremely limited. Their Air Force has just 12 fast jets. All are FA-50 Golden Eagle type from South Korea, operating today from Clark Air Force Base north of Manila. We don't have the FA-50, but we do have a good analogue. We have the Pakistan Chinese JF-17, another light multi-role fighter, quite similar and it even looks fairly similar. The best research I can do shows that the Golden Eagle in the Philippines Air Force is not yet integrated for beyond visual range air-to-air -air missiles. They are carrying short-range Sidewinder type missiles. They are integrated for air-to-ground and I think anti-ship with the RBS 15 series anti-ship missile of one mark or another. So this JF-17 I've equipped in the anti-ship role with uh, actually Chinese anti-ship missiles. They're the wrong type, but again, they will perform very similar to the RBS-15. AI will take off at an opportune moment and obviously attack the Chinese naval contingent. Then there is the Philippines Navy. It consists of a total of 82 vessels, but the vast majority of those are patrol boat size and scope. They do currently have two light frigates, 
with more to come. Each has limited anti-ship ability with up to four over-the-horizon anti-ship missiles, but with the scale of the battle today of no real relevance. They also have one corvette in service and more coming, but they do not have over-the-horizon anti-ship capability. The rest of the Navy is a mixture of fast attack craft, patrol boats and similar and again of no real relevance to Blue Sea combat. So today they will just be token ships. Then we have the American contingent. The whole idea of this is it's a quick surprise attack from China. This is the kind of attack I have to do. If I make this drag out over several days, then the American response would be so big that I wouldn't be able to model it. There will be hundreds of bombers and fighters and carrier strike groups and all this. So today is all about which American units could respond within the first few hours of the attack. I've scoured the internet for American aircraft that are based at Philippines full time and I'm pretty sure there are none. Several have visited Clark Air Force Base in the last few years. Uh, F-22 Raptors have, A-10 Warthogs have, USMC Legacy Hornets have and USN Super Hornets have, but they are all flying slash training visits. None are actually based there full time. If you follow the news, you'll obviously know that multiple American bases are planned to be built in the north of this area of the Philippines, but that is all for the future. So, no American bases within quick response time. In terms of Navy, why don't we start with what's available? It just so happens, and this is relatively realistic, that a portion of Deseron 15, Destroyer Squadron 15, is on a training exercise in the South China Sea. This is the South China Sea, obviously, viewers, within response time. It consists of four Ali Burks, and they have been training with two Ticonderoga cruisers. They also conveniently have uh, E3 AWAC support as part of their training package. They will be responding within the first few hours. In terms of the capital ships, like the USS Ronald Reagan supercarrier and the USS America LHD, part of the US 7th Fleet, which patrols and protects this area of the Pacific, are nearly 2,000 miles away, currently in port at Yokohama in Japan. That's two or three days sailing to get to this area, which means that the multiple air wings of Super Hornets and the squadron of F-35Bs on America are well outside of operational and response time for today. At the time of making this video, there is an F-22 Raptor squadron based temporarily at Guam, but again it's 1,650 miles away. To take off from Anderson and to operate nearly 2,000 miles is outside of the scope of today's combat jets, which leaves our best bet, in my view, Okinawa, 920 miles away, consisting of Kadena with F-15s and other F-16 bases. There are several air wings of air superiority fighters that could respond, but they are outside of their operational fighting range at 920 miles. To get these air wings to the Philippines in a fighting state would take one or two refueling sessions. Now, it's absolutely true that America has a refueling network, but it can only support so many aircraft per day or per hour. So, in my role play, I'm saying that Okinawa or Kadena has prioritized one squadron of F-15Cs. It's made available to them the refueling network so that they can get to the Philippines in a fighting state within a matter of hours. Obviously, this will be followed up by other fighters, but it's going to take time to get the logistics in place to get them a thousand miles over here. And here we can see that USAF squadron, 20 F-15Cs, a veteran skill level again, each carrying six AIM-120D3 and a couple of modern sidewinders and their fuel tanks. As well as 20 AI, there will also be humans with the same two lives available. In terms of predictions, guys, I've done some testing, and this is a weird one. The outcome sways quite a lot each time I run it, and that's presumably because there's so many variables. So predictions are kind of a moot point, but it's going to make it interesting today. Can I have any rough predictions or any comments on the setup? So does the Philippine Navy have a ship that they don't want anymore that they could crash into Scarborough Shar? What I'm doing is I'm referencing uh, an incident in 1999 where uh, the Philippines tried to claim Second Thomas Shoal by mm -hmm. crashing an old uh, ship, the U.S. the Sierra ah. Padre, into 
the island and they still have a contingent of marines that are still there to this day they do uh resupply missions every couple of months i didn't and, know that the atoll you're talking about by the way uh, viewers is south it's uh, below the model area by about 150 miles it's down here somewhere and that's a really interesting piece of history i think it's a pretty even contest like you said it'll depend on which way the wind is blowing <laughs> yeah i guess yeah Oh, there's one more really important thing, viewers, and actually why I chose this viewer request to do. Note the overview as I've written the word salvo there and there. And that's because we've been experimenting. Every time we run these naval battles, we get a bit better at it. Usually we have trouble targeting other ships with ships. The rate of fire of anti-ship missiles is inefficient and unrealistic. They release their missiles slowly over about 20 minutes. They wouldn't do that in real life. You would fire all of your missiles at once in real life against a heavily defended target and we finally can do that. So what you're going to see now is a huge burst attack. All of the blues are going to fire all of their missiles at once. All of the reds are going to fire all of their missiles at once. This is the first time we've done this in GR. It's going to be really interesting, if not a little over-violent. Welcome into the battle. We're going to have Saber and Dark in J-15s. Push is going to be a Philippines Golden Eagle. Fire and Grump are going to be F-15s. Viewers, if you skip the briefing, and some of you do, this is going to make no sense at all. So if you have skipped the briefing, I suggest you go back. Otherwise, oh, one more thing I've added. Um, Grump insisted that I add an old ship of the Philippines Navy to ram itself into the atoll, which is a few miles in front of it, like they did on the second Thomas Island. And so, so they're going to do that. <laughs> Guys, I'm going to unpause in three, two, one, go. The scoreboard is active, viewers, but because so much is going to happen today, I've had to make it the small version, so I will do my best to read it out too. I'm aware a lot of you can't read it. Right, let's look at the Americans. Stuff's happening. Anti-ship missiles being fired. Probably SM-6 over the horizon. Anti-ship missiles. Let's go and have a look at China. Things are going to happen. 055s are firing anti-ship missiles of some type or another. YJ-18 and YJ-21 probably... Okay, Char oh Jesus Christ, so much is happening. America has fired 53 anti-ship missiles and 31 self-defense missiles of SM-6 and SM-3 type, and it is all kicking off. I told you it was going to be a big battle. How about this big burst fire? Look at that. America has fired 82 anti-ship missiles and 90 surface uh, SAMs. China has fired 56 uh, anti-ship missiles. Man. Guys, do you mind if I pause it? No, go ahead. I mean, everything's working brilliantly, but so much has happened, viewers. I've just got to show you. The problem with this burst fire is that it, it goes quick. So China have fired all of their YJ-21 hypersonic semi-ballistic missiles. They fired pretty much all of their YJ-18s, uh, these supersonic sea-hugging missiles. America have fired SM-6s, these ones tasks for anti-shipping. They've also fired a bunch of self-defense missiles. SM-3s going up to intercept the YJ-21s as well as SM-6 and SM-2 designated for self-defense. And China uh, have also started to fire their self-defense missiles in the form of uh, HHQ-9s. Bees. And as soon as I unpause, it's going to go crazy. Guys, I'm going to unpause in three, two, one. YJ-21s are passing over the atoll now and merging with SM-3s. America looks amazing. America have fired 300 missiles. China have fired 150 missiles. YJ-21s getting dangerously close to the American lines. It's going to be laggy for a while. 1J15 is crash, obviously you can respawn, I know it's the lag. America have fired well over 300 missiles. And they are successfully shooting down the YJ-21s, which is good. And now the SM-6 task for anti-ship are heading in to the Chinese. America have fired 88 plus 224 missiles. China have fired 250 missiles. All sorts of shenanigans going on, let's have a look at the Chinese. Oh, they are just as violent! Oh, China got hit. What yeah, got hit? 
Chi one of the Chinese uh, O-52s got hit. Oh, didn't wow. Didn't damage, though. Didn't damage. They are small. Yes, it's done a bit of damage. They're small warheads against a destroyer. They're not going to destroy a destroyer. Several hits will cry. But it's interesting that an American missile has got through. Have any Chinese missiles got through to the Americans? Missed. Edwin, excellent that oversaturation is. work. We're getting through again! Another hit. Oh, no. Take it up with the freaking sea wind. Look how close the American missiles are getting destroyed. Four hundred and fifty American missiles fired on a Type Zero Five Five hit. Three hundred and fifty oh, Chinese missiles fired. Oh, got the Type Five. I don't know what to show you, viewers. 350 Chinese missiles. 450 American missiles fired. Let's have a look at the map. Oh, it's just ghastly. Uh, we've got a destroyer on fire. Chinese destroyer on fire. 055 class. China has fired 400 missiles. America has fired... I can't do it. Over 500 missiles now. This burst fire technique is absolutely insagony. I mean, obviously, I've missed most of the combat viewers, so you're going to have to just rely on the scoreboard, which hopefully you can read. But ESSMs are out. ESSMs are out. That means China means running out of missiles. China's starting to get through. Yep, ESSM, this guy here, viewers, SM2. Five hundred and thirty American missiles fired. Uh, I don't know. Four hundred Chinese missiles fired. Still, American missiles getting dangerously close, but no, actually, three Chinese ships damaged, but they're still operating. The only problem with this missile is it doesn't pack a huge punch. I mean, it'll probably put a frigate out of action, but it'll take several hits to destroy a destroyer. So it looks like none of the YG-21s made it through. That's a surprise. Things are settling down now, viewers. All right, I think the ship combat's mainly done. If pilots want to start spawning in, that's your prerogative. America have fired 450 missiles. China, five 400 missiles. Now that, viewers, was a fierce frigging naval battle. Here we have the Liaoning, uh, very similar to the of uh, carrier. Obviously, the J-15s doing their thing and taking off. Wow, look at the combat ahead. The American squadron of F-15s, right, uh, must be over here. Have now, they, are, they have now reached Philippines with their fuel intact. And they're now after burning, which means they're ready for combat. America has used 2.3 billion with a Bravo uh, dollars worth of munitions. China has used 1.3 billion dollars of munitions. Many more missiles fired by America. And ESSM's taking out the last dregs of YJ-18. Total scores, America have fired an unbelievable more than 600 missiles. 600 missiles. China have fired well over 400 missiles. What a fight! That is really last YJ 18. Last about YJ. To go down. That was exquisite. Seven minutes. That's it, viewers. There's some archaic uh, 1980s harpoons going in, but they have real no place on a modern battlefield. Oh, one of the 055s, which is a really valuable and expensive ship of which China only has seven, is now on fire and possibly destroyed. And that shows how important this new salvo fire action is and why, as I say in real life, it is the way to destroy a modern carrier strike group. Now, has the LST reached the atoll? The LST has almost crashed into the atoll at a painfully slow 12 knots. Right, Golden Eagles have waited for their opportune moment and they are now taxiing the long way round. What the hell, Philippines Air Force? Really? You're going to do that? Okay, you do that. Yeah, it's going to take a while. That's <laughs> kind of a them problem. The Americans are entering the theater. 
Maybe they're on their lunch break or something. Yes, I think so. They haven't had enough <laughs> training. Uh, they've reached over a thousand knots. That's Mark one point five or something like that. And the J15s have reached a thousand knots as well. Mark one point five as well. You won't see them going much faster with heavy fuel and missiles. 120 nautical miles between factions. Darks and the Vanguard. Sabres in the middle. Fire. First missile out from China. PL-15 type. We're using the lofting variant of the missiles today, viewers, which is considered more realistic per real life. Uh, they go up really high into the low pressure air, which is how they retain their energy and get their long, their distances. Uh, they can do this nowadays because of their complex avionics and support network. 60,000 feet. America has, of course, responded with their equivalent of the PL-15, known as the A120D3, with about the same range of 110, 120 miles. Reached 70,000 feet as well. Let's check on the Philippine Air Force. Are you going to bother taking off? Poosh is airborne. Right, Poosh, talk us through it. What are you equipped with? Um, I've got two of the 802 Alpha Kilo uh, anti-ship missiles. Anti-shipping, good. I would suggest uh, going low because the defences are still active on those ships and they have a range of 150 miles. They're thinking about some uh, Israeli mod for anti-shipping. They can go up to 450 kilometres. Really? That's, That's for the Koreans. It'd be a while before the Philippines get them. No idea that was a thing. PL 15s running low on energy now, dropping down from uh, orbit at Mark 3. What are the F 15s going to do? More missiles being pumped out. F 15s on defensive. Right, now don't tell me you've come 920 miles to get shot down, sir. Do evasion and do evasion good. Missile still marked two and a half. That's a kill. A 15 down. First kill of the day. Oh no, a bunch of J15s have gone down. <gasps> J15 down. Three J15s down. Two F15s down. Viewers, there's only so much action I can show you. It all happens in real time and it's 100% not scripted, so I don't know what's going to happen. Three F-15s down, four J-15s down. Wow, this one went to 90,000 feet and it's decided to turn down now. It's going to miss. Its guidance wasn't good enough, viewers, and it's made a miss. Or has it? No, it hasn't missed. Now, that is good missile tech. And this is the thing about these modern missiles, viewers. They can be guided from a data link. They don't even need to really keep tracking the target themselves. To a certain extent. Yeah, it was 100%. Look at that. Terrifying modern missiles are. But it's slow. It's burnt its energy off doing that big turn. And the J-15 has escaped. Five J-15s down, four F-15s down. Next phase of the battle is happening. We've got flanking maneuvers from Dark. Has just found itself in formation with an A-120D. And dodged it. Well done, sir. That could have been very dangerous. Missile defeated. Right, next salvo of missiles, and this F-15 is awfully angry. We've moved to much more realistic loadouts, viewers, of about eight missiles per aircraft, as they really do operate in real life. In real life, no aircraft go out with 12, 14, 16 missiles. It's just not a thing, not practical in any way. As I say, we slowly improve. Every battle gets a little bit more realistic and a bit closer. You know when that's happening because you got NCIS knocking on your door. Box <laughs> three. Right, Poosh making uh, a beeline. Oh, lots happening again. What do I watch? This guy here probably dropping out of orbit on his heady head head. Can't outrun it. It's retained its energy well. Good shot. Good killing going on. Seven J. Oh, a really big strike just happened. Seven J 15s now. Inefficient fire. Uh, we've now got a response from China. Chasing him down. Mark 2. Is the F-15 powerful enough? It's not. It's a heavy ale gal. Obviously being going to be replaced by Raptors and F-35 soon. F-35s, I should say. They've done their service, though. F-15, some of them Winchester now. Good dodge, sir. 
Oh, well, look at it. It's so even. Seven, and it, as it kind of would be in real life, these aircraft are very well matched. A J15 Bravo and an F15C, both modernised specification, are well matched. With well matched radars and well matched missiles, both have modernised AESA radars. Nowadays, both have 100 plus mile missiles, Mark IV missiles. At least on paper, viewers, they're a good match. Now, obviously, real life, you never know, but we can only go by what's on paper. J15 couldn't quite do it. Eight J15 down to six F15 down. And what a brilliant battle this is. Another J15 about good evasion. Beat it kinematically or somehow. Front man's now a human. Dark's done well to survive multiple uh, AIM-120 D3s. Good show. This Chinese man going nuts. I shouldn't say man, should I? I should say person. You know what I mean? Nine J-15s down. Six F-15s down. This guy going absolutely chumba wumba. Missile inbound. Amram's maintaining their energy up high a bit better than the PL-15s today. For whatever reason, they are actually much lighter than the PL-15 in real life. So there is credence for that. He may have met his maker viewers. He's got multiple AIM-120 D3s in. Hot pursuit. Where is he? There he is. You may have done it. A cheeky swine dark. You may have done it again. Right yep. Amram's defeated. Well done. Not an easy thing to do, viewers. And next, we've got the next salvo of Peel 15s coming in for the F-15s. Smack. Didn't even bother. Oh, he was committed. Another one down. Another one down. Wow, it's almost even Steven. 12 J15 down to 10 F15 down. This is a real battle of champions. And look at this guy just getting chased all over the frigging South China Sea by a Amram. Chasing him backwards. As theoretically they can do in real life now. He's literally chasing him backwards. And then that one gets him from the side. And misses. Oh, God. He's still chasing. Still chasing him. 900 knots. He's chasing him backwards. 800 knots, and he's finally beaten it. Hero of China. 14 J-15s down to 11 F-15s down. Remember, you've got another life dark, so get back in the fray. Still in the fray. Oh, look at this guy. He's frigging dodged all of the missiles and shooting down Americans. That is master of aeroplane. Remember, viewers, these are fire-and-forget missiles completely. They're not like the older AMRAMs that have to be supported by the firing aircraft. These are guided from launch by the data link. Why, they're so freaking dangerous and can be so efficient. That said, this one may have gone funny. Who knows? It got very slow, that's for sure. This one, however, is tracking 100%. Go faster, F-15. That's one times order. 15 J-15 down to 11 F-15C down. He's just beat it. Two powerful Pratt & Whitney engines. You know when I said I beat it? I lied. Yes! That's American firepower, viewers. They are kinematically better than the J-15s, the aircraft. They have a better power-to-weight ratio, so that is pretty realistic, viewers. Nice. Doc finally met his maker. See you later, Doc. Good death sequence, which is important. <laughs> First merge and dogfight of the day. They don't realise it, but that's a dogfight. Splendid battle. 15 J15 down to 11 F15 down. And in the middle of it, a giant dogfight. Well, it won't be in a minute. 100% tort, as we say in Deutschland. Pop. Go up to blow up. 18 J15 down to 13 F15 down. Pop. Carrier is now empty, viewers. All 24 of her air wing have taken off and are fighting. Sabre on a flank. Oh, look at this, viewers. Look what's just happened. What have I just spied? Now, that is a problem for the Philippines jets. They are simply, as per real life, not equipped for this battle. And the missiles was fired quite low down. It might not have the legs. Remember, these big missiles only really get long ranges at high altitudes, but we'll see. 
Oh, a real fast one here. 20 J15 down for 14 F15 down. We're getting slightly better kill rates with the F15s for some kind of reason. I imagine is what it is. 1700 knots, 1600 knots, 1500 knots. Pop. And the backpipe. Oh, that guy's getting absolutely picked on. 100% picked on. Pop. So is that guy. Pop. try to avoid it yeah they get uh, their program to get target fixation it's actually quite clever in a way because you humans do sometimes as well that guy didn't get target fixation but he did get smacked still very hard to dodge a pl15 you all know it this one right at the end of its tether going straight down at mark one can it make that kill It'll be a good missile if it can oh wouldn't even got that warning because of the aspect it came in at both sides swapping modern powerful sticks 23 J15 down to 20 F15 down, and it's nice to get back to these original war games, viewers. Big modern planes, big modern missiles, fierce, fierce combat. Aha! Fire has found Sabre and is saving the Philippine Air Force. That's a really fast missile and a really good shot, and there's not a great deal Sabre can do. Missile has all the time in the world and all the energy in the world. Unlucky Sabre, it was a good plan. Did you shoot any down, by the way? Oh, you did. You got one at least. Thank you, Fire. <laughs> oh, yes, up. yes. Safe push. Well done. <laughs> 24 J15s down to 20 F15s down. And a dodge. The missiles are not infallible. Big barrage of PL15s just popped out. Fire's on the run. A couple of AI on the run. No, I haven't seen Grump. Ah, here's Grump. Grump's in the action now. Launching big missiles from space. 100,000 feet that went Grump. And it's tracking. I probably went up to 110,000 feet. That's about as high as you can get one of these missiles, viewers. After that, they can't steer anymore. And that's where the AIM-260 comes in with its uh, pulse spectre. Really good shot from Grump. That may actually be a record kill, if it kills. Oh, some guy killed it before oh, him. Ah. Somebody killed it for it, yep. Yeah, well, that's a thing. Well, you might still get a body kill. See if you can get a body kill from 110,000. But it's still Mark 4 or Mark 3, sorry. Great thing about lobbing them is such a big parabola. Go on, Grump. Go on, Grump. Get a record. Get a record. No! Run out of beans. Fire. Oh, yeah. Definite thing going on here. And they're firing these low down. I'm not sure. No, they're going to... Yeah, they're going to kill. 25 J15 down to 20 F15 down. And another Jeff went down. Or a Golden Eagle, sorry. Pop. They're not going to fight back. Or I doubt they'll fight back. They're just not programmed to do that. Anti-ship. A lot of terrible firing going on from the Chinese here. Why they would fire like this, I don't know. But Fires found himself in trouble as the uh, J-15s respond. Missile missed. Look at that. Chinese technology not so hot right now. Now, will he try and defend himself is the question. Probably not. Jeff down. Golden Eagle down. They're smashing through the Golden Eagles now. Now it's not the end of the world. In this battle, they really are, really are a token air force. But Five... Golden Eagle's down. Another one about to go down. Come on, defend yourself. You can do it. Chinaman's out. All out of ammo and demonetized. All out of ammo. Yes, he is. He's going in with guns. Good evasion. Good evasion. Fires back in. And he is one angry fireman. Yeah, I said it. Fireman fighting fires and shooting down Chinese people is his speciality. 25 Chinese planes down to 24 American planes down. It's amazing how closely matched it was viewing to Booingtons. Kill, kill, fire! And he's messed up the intercept big time. Newbie AI. thought we would have seen dogfights today viewers good evasion from the anti-shippers probably should get us in your weapons oh and he's ran and he's ran because that happened good cover from fire on form today second j15 down good killing well done nice push bruiser times two push is firing his bruisers well done push missiles away also the front guys fired his bruisers 
these guys representing whatever try uh philippines have at the moment darks back in sabers back in grumps in for the first time total cost of america 4.8 billion dollars total cost to china three billion dollars that's the net wealth of a lot of countries dark got greedy dark got greedy Boom! splash splash dark no he's not dead he didn't die the missile failed failed to he's damaged but he's not dead it was a bad fusing which happens in real life i've made a Left couple of videos of he's out of fight yes he probably is out of the fight but you will carry on doc is he still dangerous though Oh, he's got no engines at all. Shouldn't have said that, but I have. Right. Glider versus F-15. That is 100% not a glider. World's first supersonic glider. Pushes missiles are oh, 40 miles away from the target. Will they have any effect? Probably not. But let's try it. We are 31 minutes into the simulation. It's been fast and it's been fierce, viewers. Still, but look at this PL-15. Oh, where did that? When was that fired? Dropping down on space to one of my American pilot's heads. Another salvo of anti-ship missiles fired. We're seeing a crescendo here of the human versus human pilots. All AI are dead or out of fuel and ammo. Right, here we are, the final showdown viewing to Bewingtons. Plus, Pooch's missiles are 24 miles away. Dark looking interesting. Very interesting. But what are the fire... What are the weapons state... <gasps> I'm not saying nothing. <laughs> nothing will be said. <gasps> oh my god, it's going to guns! Very bad time to black out. Oh yeah, <laughs> oh, you don't have half of it yet. Boom, saber out! Oh, he's still alive, what is up? That thing is taking. I guess it's a big plane. So Armistice not doing anything. Plane. He's dead. He's on. You know, he's smashed a foot F, but he's still flying. Keep firing. Keep firing, assholes. Mm -hmm. Sometimes missiles can explode if, if the attitude of the aircraft is unexpected, like coming in at Mark Four, like this was. The missile can explode, explode slightly before or behind, meaning that the frag pattern doesn't do much damage. As you can see, exactly here, his wings are peppered. His four planes are damaged, but he's still operational. All right. Trump is not happy with that. Oh, hits him with a cannon. Trump in for another run. Oh, just behind his tail. And we end True Grim Reaper style in a guns dogfight. What a war game, viewers. Yo! Why are you not dying? Oh, he's dead now. Oh, I'm dead. No, he's dead. He is dead. Yeah, Dark's still active. Dark's still active, by the way. Well, active's one <laughs> word, I suppose. I mean, there could be other words as well. But he's technically still alive. <laughs> I would suggest shooting him down. Nothing left, so I'd have to fox for him. Oh dear, some angry Americans are coming in. All I have that works is countermeasures. Could be handy. And gliding. In, could be handy in a minute. Oh, they're gonna have to hurry because I'm not gonna be in the air much longer. Yep, they're hurrying. Oh. Fire did a fire thing after such a good thing. Oh, it's because he's got no heat. It's not making any heat fire. Yeah, I, I locked onto one of his flares, it looks like. <laughs> Countermeasure him to death. Could happen. Boom! And he's going down. High alpha pass for the air show crowd. And he's down. Whee! What a great end. Wait uh, end uh, Finally get a kill on that. <laughs> well done. Well done. Well done, guys. Right, let's have a look. What happened in the initial burst? The Americans suffered zero damage. Nothing got through. Why? I don't know. The China got hit. Why? Again, I don't know. But one thing I... No, I just don't, just don't know. I guess volume of missiles in a short space. Uh, none was sunk, so officially it was a draw. Um, then the air battle happened, uh, squadron versus squadron. And yeah, America slightly won, just one. All J-15s were shot down and two, 
No, three Americans survived. So Ooh, the Philippines conquered an island. The, yes, the Philippines conquered yes, the atoll. Look, it's there. It's crashed into its thing. And the Philippines Air Force, three, four, push survived. You all, they survived. 30% uh, survived. And are busy shooting the ships, which is good. Um, did someone win? I guess the Blues are titchy witchy bit. I mean, they've given China a bloody nose, and China would probably want to turn around now, right? Because they've got no missiles left, question mark? Yeah, I would think yeah. that, you know, you'd they would have to tactically withdraw because they yeah. have nothing to defend themselves with from any, oh, yeah. from That's what will be coming from Okinawa and stuff. Yeah. That's an operational kill. China did not achieve their goals, so well, John, we, we win. We, All right, viewers. Uh, for me, that's about as good as it gets, to be honest. Uh, the server held up well, and everything just worked really well. I hope you enjoyed that, and bye-bye!